like 104, 500 for that first quarter. My biggest placement fee being 42,000. People need to have this skill set, whether you're just getting started or whether you've been around for a long time. You know, the big thing, and, and this is why I was so drawn to your program at first was I, I need a way to be able to get myself out there and, and kind of known, you know, as, as somebody in the industry that when a CFO is a problem, they're going to reach out to me and, and not somebody else. So like that marketing piece, that branding piece, right. um, something that is not just the traditional, you know, going after jobs that are posted on the job boards, taking a really good candidate to market an MPC campaign. I wanted it to be where it was more of that inbound and less all relying on me from an outbound and relying on my network standpoint. So not having that background, you know, cause all of my educational experience was accounting related. Right. Um, you know, all my experience to that point was uh, working in a big firm where I had five different partners at a time, depending on what market I was in. I didn't really know like what marketing was per se. I knew sales, but not that marketing and branding piece. You, okay. you had a ton of really good YouTube content out there. And so I kind of just binged that. And it was one of those where, you know, you, you have such good content on there and like actionable insights, but it's where I just wanted more. And like, you can only get so much from watching videos and reading content. It's another thing to be able to be able to interact with you one-on-one -on -one and ask you questions directly from my situation specifically. I think that's what ultimately that's, you know, that's how we set up the call. That's how I'm like, okay, this is a good fit from, uh, you know, not only what you're teaching, but also just how we gel standpoint, it, it helps all of my marketing and it helps what I'm working on in a, from a day to day standpoint. So like when I'm, when I'm talking to a client, which is normally going to be the CFO of a privately held middle market company, like I can kind of understand what they might be going through at a deeper level. Whereas before it was service or this is what really kind of, this was the linchpin for me and what set my content off was allowing myself to show the personal side of Alec, mm -hmm. right? There's the professional side. And that is all that my posting was up until we started working together. It makes it more human. Yep. And people want to do business with other people. So starting there, getting more specific about who I wanted to talk to and who I wanted to help, um, that's really where it all kicked off. And then from there, it was a matter of understanding what sort of content I wanted to create for my audience that I was growing of those ideal clients. But like you have to put in the work to be able to see those results. And you start creating an actual skill that you can use for the rest of your career versus like a one-time, uh, you know, one-time success. It took probably within the first six months of being in the program, I was noticing that I was getting more responses, uh, more friendly responses when I would reach out, whether I'm doing business development or recruiting, it would always be this little, Hey, I'm okay. Now love the content by the way. And then, so that went on for probably like 12 months. And then the first quarter of this year, uh, turns around. And, you know, I end up having one of my better quarters since my company started. And I did about, it was like 104, 500, uh, for that first quarter with my biggest placement fee being 42,000, uh, coming from that. And th this was just from all my inbound leads. So again, people reaching out to me, needing help with specific positions. So that's, it, it, it took a lot of time and effort, but what it does is it, it just, it builds in this it's hard to describe, but this goodwill into the marketplace and right. this unofficial relationship that you have with people that you're trying to do business with and you're trying to work with, you know, you're allowing them to get to know you in a way that makes them comfortable and, and helps them trust you with their search, with their business. Um, so it's a lot more than just the, you know, the hundred K plus that I built in the first quarter. It's really just moving forward and, and how people know me what you're doing here, Donnie, people need to have this skill set. I think we're just, you can't move forward and be a recruiter without having some understanding of copywriting, without having some presence on LinkedIn. I, let me take that back. I, you can definitely do it. There's plenty of people that are more successful than me that are, that are not posting on social media, but I think a lot of those recruiters have been around for a long time and they probably have networks that are very deep, yep. right? That are 10 plus years in existence. I think 
social media and content creation and posting on LinkedIn, it just makes everyone's life easier, whether you're just getting started or whether you've been around for a long time. So I think investing in the skill set that's going to be around forever is just a smart move to make. And if you're if you're a recruiting firm owner, again, get not to go too far down the rabbit hole, it's a deduction for you. Right? So you're not <laughs> <and> like <laughs> it, 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 pays to learn, <laughs> it pays to learn that skill if you're able to write that off. And it's a big write-off. There's a skill set on the other side. There's yeah, like yeah. we're leveling up a very important skill set in today's yeah. society, in today's marketplace, whatever you want to say, like right. marketing personal branding, because with, with marketing and personal branding comes the understanding of copywriting, comes the understanding of hooks. These are all, every, you're learning skill sets that play into every different area of your business. It's not just posting on LinkedIn. There's so right. much more to it that you can take and apply in other areas. But the, the quick wins, there is no quick wins in this industry. You can get lucky. You can 100% get lucky. My first placement when I started in this industry back in 2018, I did it in less than 30 days. And that was that was not normal. Right. I was on the candidate side, which is normal for your first mm -hmm. placement. But I think it's almost a bad thing if you get a quick win early because you don't realize how much work actually has to go into making this thing successful. Mm -hmm. Number one, I would definitely recommend it. Right. I mean, I, which is why I'm, I'm here, which is why I left you the testimonial on your page, yep. which if you guys haven't seen, check it out. I think it's important to have a, a solid foundation of recruiting skills though. Right. Yep. So this is, and then you don't, you're very transparent about that. You are not like, you are not a recruitment coach, right? You are, you understand the recruitment industry inside and out your bread and butter is becoming the relevant recruiter, right? So you've got to understand the recruitment process before you dive into this, because you don't want to be learning all those different things at once. Yep. Go in with a strong foundation and then hammer the marketing piece and don't be afraid to try new things. And just take the feedback, try it, see what happens. Don't, don't be afraid of it not working. Don't be afraid of a negative response. Uh, you know, the, the big thing is like, I don't want to put something bad out there. If you put something bad out there, someone's going to forget about it. No one's going to remember that you had a, a piece of content that flopped. Yep. Right? So I would say definitely I would, I would endorse doing it, go in a hundred percent and um you know learn this important skill set that is just going to make everything else a little bit easier